Good evening, everyone. A big announcement just a short time ago out of Silicon Valley. Twitter filing for an initial public offering. The company filing paperwork with the Securities and Exchange Commission, though it will keep the details of its business secret for now. And, of course, the company told the world by tweeting it. Julia Borston joins us now with more. Julia, it is hard to say this is a surprise. People have been anticipating this for a long time. But now we at least know they're going forward with it. Absolutely. We knew this was coming. We expected this before the end of the year. Now we know that the process is in motion. I think it's fascinating that Twitter announced this news in a tweet. That tweet saying we've confidentially submitted an S-1 filing to the SEC for an IPO. Twitter then adds this tweet does not constitute an offer of any securities for sale. Now, the key thing here is that this is a confidential S-1 filing. Now, Twitter here is making use of the Jobs Act provision that allows companies with less than $1 billion in annual revenue to file confidentially at first. That means that we don't get to read that S-1 filing and see what their revenue is. Then they go back and forth, get comments from the SEC feedback on things like what risk factors they're disclosing um, in, a, in a quiet period, in a private period of communication between the SEC and Twitter. Then the Twitter will file an official S-1, a public S-1, that we will get to see no later than 21 days before the roadshow begins. But, Tyler, I have to say, Twitter did not need to disclose that they were taking this next step. And we are hearing that Goldman Sachs will be the lead banker, and we'll, from, uh, our Kayla Tausche reporting that, and we'll see what other underwriters are named when that official S-1 is filed. Julia, you took us through all of the mechanics, and that all makes a lot of sense, but investors are going to be really excited when this IPO is filed. Do we have any clues from any of the reporting that you've been doing about when this might happen, this year or next year, and maybe even how big it's going to be? Well, you know what, Susie? It all depends on what kind of feedback Twitter gets from the SEC. So um, it, it seems like after Facebook's IPO was such a debacle um, and that first day of trading was so crazy, Twitter will be very careful. Um, it'll be very cautious. And um, right now it's in, in communication with the SEC. And depending on how much feedback it gets, what kind of feedback it gets, that will determine how long it takes before it files that uh, public S-1 and that roadshow begins. So it's too soon to say um, how soon this could happen, but it could be a matter of months before we get that, um, that official public S-1 filing, uh, which, of course, will be fascinating for us and for everyone to read. And in terms of valuation, um, Twitter was recently valued at about $10 billion when it raised money recently, and we're hearing it could be as much as $15 billion. The valuation could be as high as $15 billion um, when it officially files. All right, Julia, exciting developments. Thank you so much. Julia Borston reporting on Twitter's IPO.